previously on the Kungsleden. We embarked on our journey through Sweden's rugged wilderness and after we traversed the dense forest, we stepped into a world where the boundaries between nature and humanity blurred and faded away. There's literally no sign of civilization anywhere. For the first time in our lives, we caught a glimpse of reindeer. I almost cried when I saw the herd of reindeers. That was really on my bucket list. We really took our time to connect with the natural world around us. And as we pressed on, the first side of Sarek National Park emerged from the fog. In this vlogging series, we invite you to join us on our journey of the section from Fikjok to Salto de Wokta. As we venture above the Arctic Circle for the first time, we're stepping into a whole new world. One filled with vast landscapes, majestic reindeer and the mesmerizing northern lights. Let's discover the magic of the Kungsleden together. Good morning. Good morning. It was a pretty, pretty cold morning and a really damp and rainy morning as you can see still in the tent. Right now it's six o'clock and it was freezing. But our cumulus sleeping bags kept us really, really warm and cozy this night. <laughs> Completely frozen. Yeah, it was a pretty cold night, but as you can see behind me, the sun is coming up at the moment and it's already heating up our faces. From here, it's one to one and a half hour to the boat, which is at the lake. And on the other side of the lake, we'll probably stay tonight. There's supposed to be a really nice campsite and hut on the other side of the lake. And while we're there and the weather is this great, we might show our pack list to you. So make sure to check that one out as well. We're gonna show what we packed, what we brought, our food, basically everything that we brought during this trip. We're gonna record it there because the weather is beautiful. We can dry our tent, we can dry our sleeping bags because they got a little bit damp last night and chill a little bit. Despite a chilly morning, we savored our time breaking camp, soaking in the tranquility of the wilderness. Just in time, we reached the boat crossing at Lautaure, which is a point where you will meet fellow hikers. As we saw the other hikers arriving, we couldn't help but feel a sense of curiosity and excitement towards those who had already hiked the Kungsleden in the opposite direction, wondering what adventures they had encountered on their way. As we crossed the calm waters of Lightaura, we couldn't help but feel a sense of calmness getting over us. The mist still clung to the surroundings like a thick blanket. Slowly the mist began to lift, revealing a glimpse of the rugged landscapes that lay beyond. We held our breath, waiting for the moment when the last of the mist would clear away, and reveal the full extent of the view. And when it did, we were left speechless.
happy with the camp spot I led. I'm really, really happy. This is like, if you see this view, it's insane. It's literally everything we, we well, I'm speedless, as you can hear. <laughs> Since we arrived early at our campsite, we took the time to dry our tent and sleep in bags from the night before. With everything ready, we started preparing dinner. What are we having for dinner? Um, I'm having a quinoa and Dane is having an Indian curry with rice. Ta-da! Quinoa! While enjoying dinner, we took the time to reflect on our day and we are really grateful for this magnificent campsite at STF Akte. STF Akte is a popular stop for hikers on the Koenslede. It offers both sleeping accommodations in the hut or camping at an additional fee. As a guest, you will have access to a fully equipped kitchen, showers and even a sauna. STF Akte also features a small shop where you can purchase snacks, basic supplies and souvenirs. And it is also the perfect place to rest and recharge. How was your day? My day was really good. It was a super sunny day. So we decided after the boat to stay at the campsite here at Akse. And we even recorded a packing mist video. So if you're curious about that, definitely check it out. As the sun began to set, we couldn't resist the urge to explore our surroundings. With the perfect weather on our side, we took our time wandering around and immersing ourselves in the breathtaking beauty of the area. As the day drew to a close, we stood around a warm and crackling campfire under the stars, with the silhouetted mountains serving as a breathtaking backdrop. It was already a day that we would never forget, from the beautiful lake crossings to the stunning campsite and spectacular sunset views. But just when we thought it couldn't get any better, we experienced this. On the next episode of the Koenslede. We say farewell to the most beautiful campsite we have ever been. As we make our way towards our next campsite, the landscape changes dramatically. The trees disappear and the ground becomes rocky, almost resembling Mars. And as we're about to cross another lake, we run into a strange sign in the middle of nowhere. Apparently we have to call a guy here because he lives on the other side of the lake. This is the only place where we have signal. So we have to call here and then he comes with the boat to this side of the lake. But I got his voicemail. So I think the smart option is to wait here and call in 10 minutes or something. Will we be able to cross this lake? Stay tuned and find out in the next episode. <laughs>